Hey, this is Travis. Understanding BitTensor can be difficult. We hear lots of terms like alpha, tau, subnets, miners, validators, stakers, etc. What do they all mean and how do they relate to each other? I want to use an analogy to help break it down. Let's say you want to buy shares in a Japanese company. You're going to have to convert your currency to the country's local currency, the Japanese yen. Once you have yen, you can use it to purchase shares in the company. And once you've purchased shares in that company, you're called a shareholder. BitTensor is no different. Let's say that you want to buy shares in a BitTensor company. In BitTensor, we call these shares alpha. You're going to convert your currency to the local BitTensor currency, tau. Once you have tau, you can use it to purchase shares, or alpha, in a BitTensor company, called a subnet. Once you've purchased your alpha, you're called a staker, although the technical term is a delegator or a nominator. When you purchase alpha in a subnet, your purchase has a small but immediate impact on the amount of tau that is emitted to the participants in that subnet. Without getting into the nitty gritty of emissions, the higher the price of an alpha token, the more participants on that subnet are rewarded. Your alpha purchase is like a vote that you feel a subnet is valuable, in the same way that holding shares is a vote for you feeling that a traditional company is valuable. Looking quickly at the participants within subnets, miners do the work, validators check and grant access to the work, subnet owners control the work, and you as a staker or alpha holder judge the value of the work. Participants are all in competition with one another for emissions. Miners compete against other miners, validators compete against other validators, and subnet owners compete against other subnet owners, competing to produce the most value for themselves, and by extension making BitTensor Tau more valuable. So you can see BitTensor as a decentralized economy, an economy of a decentralized country. You'll need to purchase the local currency in order to purchase shares in BitTensor's companies. Now this whole analogy explains DTAO. DTAO isn't a token, it stands for Dynamic Tau. It's just the name of the most recent BitTensor chain upgrade that tokenizes the value of subnets into alpha and allows for market dynamics to govern emissions. If you want to purchase Alpha in a subnet, the simplest way to get started is by downloading a wallet extension that works for BitTensor. I use Talisman. Once you've sent Tau to it, you can use a site like Tau.app or TauStats.io to convert your Tau to Alpha. I have a separate video on how to stake safely and avoid pitfalls. Now, if you're new, I'd consider not directly investing in subnets until you're more comfortable. Even though their APY can be very appealing, their price in Tau can be very volatile. The safest way to get your feet wet is to stake to root, also called subnet zero, for a risk-free but reasonable APY.